Now, if you're anything like me, I know you've been working years and years and years to build up your credit so you can get the best interest rate and have the best opportunities financially to either buy a home, buy a car, or something else that you desire. In order to get the best interest rates and to get easy approval, this is really important to have a really high credit score. Now there's something really important that just happened lately and it kind of bothers me and it has me worried not only for individuals with high credit scores, but for America in general. America. There's a new rule that Joe Biden and his administration has put into effect that might make it much harder for you to buy that house that you want. Now, under this new law, people with good credit scores will end up paying a higher interest rate on their mortgages. Now, hold on, you're probably saying, this doesn't make any sense. I was brought up to be responsible. Well, this is the new America. God bless you. God bless America. Now, you're probably asking why this is happening. Well, the banks want to use that extra money that someone like me or you with high credit in order to give loans to people with poor credit scores. And let me tell you, those high-risk loans can be a disaster just waiting to happen. Now, remember the financial crisis of 2008? 1.7% here, a loss of 37 points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between 3 and 4.5% four and generally across these markets. Well, that was caused by banks giving out subprime mortgages to people who really couldn't afford them. And it was a mess and it hurt a lot of people. And now with this new law, we might be headed towards the same thing, maybe even worse. Now the current administration is putting up in place this new mortgage rule that will take effect May 1st of 2023, which was the other day. Now the goal of these rules is to make it less risky for lenders, but that means you'll end up paying more money if you have a higher credit score. Now it's not fair, especially for hardworking people like me or you that have been saving for a down payment on a house and to be responsible. Not fair. Now, starting May 1st of 23, the new federal rule that's enforced by the current administration will make it so that people with a credit score of 680 or higher will have to pay about $40 more a month than people with lower credit scores. So basically, people with higher credit scores, from what I've been told, have to pay three-eighths of a point higher on their mortgage. Now, this means that if you take out a home loan of 400000 for example, you can end up paying up an extra, you know, a couple of hundred bucks a month depending on the size of your loan and this rule applies to anybody who borrows money that's insured by fha which is a lot of people that's a lot of dead people now this is a truly unprecedented on a high level it's really bothering me and it's going to make home ownership more difficult to achieve because owning a home has always been an important way to build wealth in our society but with these new rules coupled with higher interest rates and the state of our economy it's going to be a real challenge and to be honest with you this entire administration is just one big dumpster fire this is america now remember may 1st of 2023 the mortgage rates in private banks are going to change now it's all because of something called loan level price adjustments which is basically upfront fees that you're going to pay when buying a home and i know this might sound confusing but bear with me now these adjustments are based on two things your credit score and the down payment that you're able to make and let me tell you these two things are going to determine the final rate of your home purchase now the better your credit score and the higher your down payment the lower your mortgage rate will be so unfortunately, this also means that people with good credit scores like you and like me, who've been working hard to maintain them and be responsible, will see an increase in their mortgage costs, which is bizarro land. This is, this is unbelievable. If you're planning to make a down payment on anything between 15 and 20%, you'll be hit hard with roughly a quarter point for each rate applying long term. Now, again, I really think I'm in the Twilight Zone or the Truman Show because everything that comes out every week is a bizarre third dimensional la la land. I don't know what to say anymore about this. Every week, some bizarre new rule is coming out. We have people that are 
stupid. Now, this is something that's just about to happen because it's already happened. It, it's nothing that's a, a mystery. It happened last week. And these changes were made to reduce the risk taken on by mortgage lenders, which means you're going to be paying more to make their job easier. And at the same time, people with lower credit scores will be rewarded with lower mortgage rates. They're lowering the fees for high-risk home buyers to make it easier for them to purchase a home. Doesn't make sense to me. Make it make sense. Now let's keep in mind that if you got a credit score between 500 and 680, you'll see the biggest decrease in loan level price adjustments, around three quarters of a point lower. Now having said that, while the new rule is promoted as making home ownership dreams more attainable, it will result in higher costs for buyers with good credit who may be in that position only because they've been saving, not buying expensive cars, not eating out every single day, and not taking frequent vacations. So it just means that we might end up paying more even though we've been doing everything right. And that's really not fair, isn't it? It's not fair. It's like punishing people for being financially responsible. Plus, there's another thing you need to know about. It's the Federal Housing Administration, the FHA, is planning to charge an extra fee for buyers with debt-to-income ratios over 40%. It was supposed to start soon, but it delayed until August. So we need to keep an eye on that also. And the thing is, mortgage rules are always changing, and we need to stay on top of them. And if we want to achieve our goals, we need to be very resilient. So if you're serious about buying a home someday, you need to pay attention to these new developments. And even if just another $40 a month, it could add up over time. And the bigger issue here is that the new rule is a form of wealth redistribution. They're taxing the people with good credit to lower costs for those with bad credit. And it just sounds to me like it's a Robin Hood event. Oh, Robin Hood. And that's not how free market economy is supposed to work. And honestly, with the housing market slowing down and the new rules coming in, buying a home is not as easy as it used to be. But that's not the only thing you're gonna need to worry about. Now, back in 08, when mortgage loans were handed out like candy, I mean, my barber was even getting a million dollar home at the time and he couldn't afford it. People really just were in the hole and it was a disaster and we don't want that to happen again and now with the war in ukraine and banking crisis and the weakening dollar things are even more complicated so before you decide to buy a home think about your financial situation can you really afford it do you have enough month savings to cover unexpected expenses like repairs and maintenance property taxes and insurance don't forget that a home is a liability and you'll be taking money out of your pocket every year to take care of it and i know you might think that owning a home is the ultimate dream but it's not worth sacrificing your financial stability for it don't be house rich and cash poor instead focus on building your assets and increasing your net worth a home can help with that but only if you're financially prepared for it so take time to think about it. Don't rush into anything. Like my old man used to say, go with lead feet. And if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to ask me. Leave a comment down below and ask me anything you want. I'll see you in the next video.